and welcome to part 107. We're not going to go through the door that we looked at in the last entry because there appears to be a fabulous item in this room. Where is it? Watch and learn. Aha! If you shine light on that weirdly textured mirror, it will absorb it and shoot it back out afterwards so that you can use it to bounce light all over the room and use your mirror shield to get rid of all sorts of blocks and things. It's really cool, and as Tidal helpfully informs us, it looks different from your everyday mirror. I don't remember if those mirrors were used in another game, I want to say that they were used in the Wind Waker, but I really don't remember. Somebody should comment and tell me that. Dun, 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 dun. So, now that we have the compass, we can see some more of the hidden chests in this um, dungeon. However, because of the way the dungeon is set up, the compass isn't quite as useful as you would think. It is useful, but it's not as useful. <laughs> You'll figure that out in a few more parts. Exactly why. But for now, let's go through the locked door. I, play, I played the, le the original Legend of Zelda recently, and I had a lot of goddamn keys. After I, When I got to the end of the game, I had like two or three keys left, somehow. That game just gives out keys like candy, it's really weird. Anyway. This room is basically just another great big light reflection puzzle. As you can see, there are more of those weirdly textured mirrors over there, and there's a whole bunch of little black spheres of evilness. You... There's not really a good reason to go around and destroy them all because they respawn really quickly, but... Meh, it's worth it, I guess, if you feel like it. Oh. Anyway. Use your shield to shine light onto these sun switches, and one of them will reveal a chest, which might contain a helpful item. Or it could just contain another goddamn fairy. Who knows? The other ones don't actually have anything on them, but I was gonna... I lit them all up anyway, just to make sure. But yeah, only that one actually does anything. The rest of them just set on fire and burn up. Oh so, well. It's a good way to waste your time, I guess. See what I mean about those guys respawning? They're really annoying. Anyway. Jesus. Yeah, you can't shine it directly to the sunblock, even though it's in your line of sight. You need to shine light onto that, and then as soon as this guy appears, kill him, and then do this as quickly as possible. Pretty friggin' nifty. And then through this uh, block is the scariest enemy in the friggin' world. Seriously, that, that enemy scares the crap out of me. It looks like an infested Goron or something. It's like a StarCraft and Zelda fanfiction. Or crossover, rather. But anyway, once you get that fairy... Just the sound that they make is so creepy, it's like, blah, 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 it scares the shit out of me. Anyway, <laughs> that aside, as you can see there are two mirrors over here, you need to time this and try to get as much light in as possible, because you're going to have to reflect it twice. So, do that, and then don't do, don't do it how I'm doing it, because I'm doing it really badly, but whatever. Kill this guy, or, you know, ignore him, whatever. As long as you're really quick at pointing it at the sunblock, you don't really need to make the light reflect for that long. You just had to be quick. Um, the bunny hood isn't really that necessary, because it's not that far, but you might as well. And God damn, those guys scare me. What are those guys called again? Someone should comment and tell me, because I don't even remember them in any other Zelda game. They just scare the shit out of me in this Zelda game. Anyway. As you can see, this is a room with lava and Deku flowers. So it's kind of a bitch sometimes. We'll give it a shot real quickly, and see exactly what happens. I'm not really sure what that stuff flying out of these geysers is supposed to be. It's like some sort of weird air current, but it's like red for some reason. Oh jeez. Well, that was violent. Well, I'll see you in the next part, and we'll tackle this room. I'll see you then.